Welcome back. High security vehicle registration plates project is facing roadblocks as the matter is before the High Court pending disposal. On one hand, government has initiated tender process afresh for high security vehicle registration plates, while on the other hand, government is fighting legal battle in the High Court against interested parties. Project enforcement is being delayed even after Supreme Court's direction to implement high security number plates. The Supreme Court had observed that terrorism-related activities and other crimes using cars and other vehicles can be controlled using high-security vehicle registration plates. Apex Court had directed all the states to make it mandatory to install high-security vehicle registration plates. Goa was among a few states to start the project, but after getting many complaints of these plates being very costly and not secure, government terminated the contract. Government's second attempt was in last June. Government had floated tender and had selected a company on the basis of lowest price quote. But again in December, government terminated even this tender process and announced to start a fresh round of tender process in February. But this attempt again is on hold as lowest bidder of second round of tender. Utsav's safety system filed a petition before the High Court of Bombay at Goa challenging Goa government's decision to cancel their eligibility. The High Court is hearing this matter for final disposal. Meanwhile, installation of high security number plates is delayed. Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. Power Minister Milan Naik has said that some of the electricity employees are not wearing the safety gears while discharging risky jobs. Minister is awaiting the executive engineer's report on the lineman electrocution incident that occurred on Monday. Whereas the executive engineer of Murgaon Electricity Department says mishap was a result of communication gap between ground workers. The linemen of Murgao Electricity Department had fallen off from a height of 17 feet while trimming the branches on Monday. The incident has again exposed the safety aspects of such workers discharging risky jobs. Power Minister says he is awaiting Executive Engineer's report for further action. He also blames some of the workers for not adopting safety measures, despite department providing them the safety tools. Executive engineer Gopinathan Pillai has blamed the whole episode to be a result of communication gap between the ground workers. Pillai firmly claimed that episode isn't a police case. Then Amir Sahib already replied, but he's over. Actually, then uh, when I verified this matter to Amir Sahib, Amir Sahib said there is mobile some communication, whatever he told, the other fellow did not understood. So there is a communication gap. When any electrical accidents uh, take place, our first duty to inform to electric inspector. Based on the electric inspector's report, if at all electric inspector implicates somebody, then only the question of police comes into the picture. Surendra Madkaikar for Prudent. Oot Koikara has decided to file intervention petition in the Supreme Court in Goa mining matter. The plea will be filed on behalf of Bharatiya Mazdoor Kisan Sangh. Ud Koikara has decided to hold morcha against the mining companies who have failed to compensate farmers from Mai, Sange and other areas. NGO also alleges some trade unions have become double agents of the miners. They condemn the attack on the NGOs at Madgaon.
आम्ही आता मोर्चा वरता थेला तो आम्ही मोर्चा पणजे असते ना आम्ही सेजा गोवाच्या त्यांच्या गेटीचे उट गोयंकारा हॅज स्ट्रॉंगली डिमांडेड स्पेशल स्टेटस फॉर गोवा अँड ऑल्सो रिक्वेस्टेड गवर्नमेंट टू पास रेझोल्युशन ड्युरिंग द फोर्थ कमिंग असेंब्ली सेशन If you have missed our bulletin log on to prudentmedia.in or follow us on Twitter at the rate prudent goa or meet us on Facebook at facebook.com/prudentmedia with this we come to an end of this news bulletin keep watching prudent goodbye tumi porita prudent you are watching prudent